Yes, we've just arrived. Again, the uh, bathrooms or the toilets are on my right here, where I am tight. And there are some toilets just at the back of our tent here. As you guys can see, there are some food or bubu that has been distributed to the tables. Please enjoy these treats while we wait for our bridal party and the newlyweds. If you have any questions, please come and see myself. Thank you.
Cruz there. I like how you got the crowd involved. Hopefully you take it out, mate. All right, last but not least, we have Ingrid. So please be nice to them while they come and serve you guys meals tonight and drinks, okay? You guys don't have to get up, um, and they'll come and serve you guys, all right? But right now, I'll pass it over to Jackson. Hello, my name is Langi, my name is yeah, Mato Te Fight Nit Talo, Ile Sili Silo, and Fight Yer Swapo, one of Billiards Kiriso. Amen. I think that uh, deserves a round of applause, guys. That was awesome. <laughs> Jackson, I'm sure we're related, man. Okay, guys, like I said, we're about to uh, get our dinner served to us now. So, dinner will be about 30 to 35 minutes. After that, we have our speeches and a few of our singers performing for you guys tonight as well, okay? So without further ado, please enjoy your meal. Try not to eat too much. Well, eat as much as you want, but um, yeah, enjoy each other's company. Thank you.
Please, everyone, just make sure we're seated so our service can come and serve you guys. It's quite hard holding a plate of food while trying to get through the traffic, so please be mindful of our service. Thank you. Thank you. 
hope everyone is enjoying their dinner. Please feel free to eat up. There are heaps of plates at the back here. There are also heaps of drinks, not just the Tonga Towers, but there are some spirits and obviously fizzy drinks just behind me at the bar. So please help yourself as well. before we finish off our dinner and then we will start on our speeches and our lovely song performances so please enjoy your meal in this last 10 minutes thank you
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are enjoying your dinner, or I hope you have enjoyed your dinner tonight. Right now, we're going to get on with our program. So we're going to start with our speeches and our performances for our songs, okay? So the first speech that we have tonight is uh, Jury, who was one of the groomsmen. After that, we have a song performance by Jay and Joshon. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it up two at a time, and then we'll go on from there. So, please, ladies and gentlemen, give a warm welcome to Jury. Uh, um, firstly, I'd just like to congratulate the lovely bride and groom on um, their day today. It's been a wonderful occasion. And, um, I just feel so blessed to be able to be here and um, share this occasion with you. Um, secondly, I'd just love, love to give a big mahi to um, Uncle Taku and Roina and the rest of the partner, uh, part I know that are here tonight because um, it's a long way from the far, pretty lot. So um, it's um, great to see you here and it's great to um, see the support for Clarence tonight um, from all our whanau from back home. Um, firstly, I'll start off with just outlining my relationship with Clarence. Um, we, Klein and I are born in a little park called Takapua here on the banks of the Poly River Harbour. <laughs> um, born and raised on the park. Um, grew up together. We went to school together for a few years until they found out that I couldn't read. And um, I blame Klein for that. Um, and just running in and out of the, car, uh, out of the park, um, week in, week out, um, weekends, holidays, um, spending so much time together. Um, I think I sort of get up and represent all the park kids that we grew up with, um, Riley, Kelsey, um, those who can't be with us, Larry Dodge, and, um, and Michael Davies. Um, I don't know, Larry called me the other week asking 20 bucks, so um, no wonder why he's not here. Um, so you know, that's just the way we sort of grew up. Um, all sort of a group of us running in throughout the houses, every door is open. Spending time with Jake Stans and um, Ani Mal, sitting there debating the finer details of life. Um, Ani Roina, forever folding washing. I don't think she's ever finished that folding that washing. And it's pretty hard. There's more um, great grandchildren on the way. So um, it's been, it, we've had a great um, time growing up with Klein and seeing him sort of come through and um, I won't say blossom, but sort of you know, develop into a um, into a fine cousin and a fine man has been. Um, one of the last great experiences. Um, I thought I'd just indicate, Martina, for you some key principles that I've sort of seen develop and climb through life. Um, firstly, this is resourcefulness. Growing up, there was always something to do. Jay seemed to go on up Trash Palace and got a car and a seat and we sort of rip it up and put something on it and push it down the hill. Um, we found bits of wood and tried to build something, but um, none of us had any real coordination when it came to building. Um, often Klein was so resourceful, you'd, we'd go up Lala's and we'd be like, where's Klein? And he'd be lying on the floor looking under all the, um, all the freezers, looking if anyone had dropped dollar coins. <laughs> and he'd have his hand under trying to um, drag stuff out. So, um, you know, Klein, always uh, looking for a deal. Um, secondly, um, Klein's dedication, uh, church and service has always been a key principle in his life. Um, often Klein was caught on a Sunday dodging cattle, but um, you know, seeing him go on his away on his mission and come back and serving with honour has been um, one of the great privileges in life and um, I can only say that it's a testament to all his uncles and aunties that have grown up in the church and um, have shown him the way. Um, his other dedication in life is sport, um, always the basketball player um, and you know, seeing him grow into that role and try being an NBA player. <laughs> He hadn't even got as far as, was it, NBL? <laughs> <laughs> but But, um, you know, he really missed his calling um, when he was playing with us in the under-12 Vulcans, our under-12 rugby team. Um, he often failed to turn up the training and his dedication lacked. Um, as such, we still have his um, under-12 uh, tracksuit still sitting at home, waiting for him to get dedicated behind rugby. 
I'm under great authority that um, the coach has the track suit ready for you when you return. Um, lastly, um, it's Klein's openness and kindness. I think um, Klein's always been one that sort of always been the guy to break the ice, no matter what situation you're in. Um, he knows how to connect people and weave people together, and I think that's a true testament um, to his character. But in being that, he's also um, one for outrageous behaviour, um, especially his love of the brown eye. Which if you know, you know. Um, growing up, of course, we went to Ngati Tour School together, and one lunchtime I was standing up on the bank and I said, boys, I think I've got an idea. I think we should brown eye each car that goes past. And I sit up on the hill and I go, boys, I'll wait down the bottom, and, a, and I'll call car, and if the car comes up, you better pull the ground eye. So I sat down the bottom, and I went, car, they pulled the ground eye. It was an ambulance going to a job. <laughs> it turned out it wasn't, it wasn't that bad, and they came back down the road, and they pulled into the school. Um, safe to say we were in the principal's office. Um, in saying this, Martina, I hope I've put forward a strong case for my cousin. Um, his resourcefulness will be an asset to you and your whanau. Know that you'll never want for anything, because he'll be the one to go out and get it. He'll graft and do what he needs to do. Um, and he understands those values from where we've gone before us. Um, if you look at the part of whanau, was there like 12 kids in um, your grandmother's generation? So, you know, they know how to do stuff. And I know how to... Um, I'm not that kind of resourcefulness, uh, more for, you know, um, you know, making sure it's meat sort of right, but okay. Um, his dedication to those that he cares about and the things that he cares about, know that he'll forever be dedicated to you because he's made this commitment. And we've seen that in the church and we've seen that with whatever he puts his mind to and if he's dedicated, um, you know, he'll really try to keep it. Except in golf, I don't know why I spend so much time on it because it's bloody useless. <laughs> Um, lastly is openness and kindness. Um, knowing that people that give their all to people, it's really hard to go out every day and give your all to everyone. So be as hard as please, look after them and be there for them and just, you know, stay in the drop in energy levels and you know, just make sure that um, he's well up to after him because you know, uh, he fills the cup of everyone else in there so he needs that at home just to make sure his cup's full. So um, in saying that, that's all I've got. Um, I think We'll raise our glass, charge our glasses to the bride and groom. Cheers. Thank you, Drew, for that lovely speech. I'm actually quite happy that none of us saw those brown eyes when uh, we were talking about them, mate. Right? So, uh, like I said, uh, we have a performance, a song by Jay and Trishon. So please, this is your guys' opportunity. Thank you.
Thank you, Jay and Sean, for the, blood, uh, for the beautiful scene. So the next speech that we have is our maid of honor, Wailama. Wailama, it is your chance to speak about the new wits. And after that, we have Mahara to sing her song as well. All right, so without further ado, please give a round of applause for the maid of honor, Wailama Mahara. For those of you that do not know who I am, I am Martina's older sister and maid of honor today. Firstly, I want to say, Tina and Klein, wow, you did it. Tina, you look incredible. Klein, not bad, not bad. <laughs> I just want to say from the bottom of my heart that I am so proud of you both. The chaos to planning this special day has been a challenge for you both, but you did it. To be able to bring all these beautiful people here to witness your matrimony is a blessing, and you both should be very proud. We've got lots of speeches to get through tonight and performances, so I'll make this short and sweet. A lot of you guys know Martina as a very talented netballer. But little do you know, back in the day, she was a crumper. Yes, chest pops, foot stomps, she was truly an entertainer. If you don't know what crump is, just type in Martina Gets Buck on YouTube and you'll find your answer there, okay? <laughs> Tina was also the only one out of all of us that had the true guts to perform a white Sunday solo at the demands of our dear late Nana. If you know, you know. Oh man, Tina, honestly, I think Nana and Uncle Lolly would be looking down at you with so much pride. As your older sister, I've watched you grow and blossom into a beautiful young lady, but my favorite part is seeing how independent and confident you have become these past couple of years. The journey hasn't been easy and there was definitely some tough moments that was hard to witness as your older sister, but your resilience to come out stronger, better, and tougher is inspiring. Klein, thank you for loving my little sister. Thank you for being a great partner, and I have so much comfort as an older sister knowing that she has you as her life partner. You both have so many wonderful qualities of, that merge beautifully together as a couple. And no, it's not your height, so you guys are more than that, okay? <laughs> Melody and Jason, I just want to say you guys have raised a respectful young man who we are proud to call our brother. I would like to make a toast, so if we could all raise our glasses. Tina and Klein, may your life together be filled with laughter, love and joy. There's an old Samoan saying that goes... Which means, may your mind be cool like water. So when times get tough, remember to be honest, calm like water, communicate and have each other's backs no matter what. Finding your true love and growing old together is life's best blessing and I'm so glad that you both found each other. On behalf of Chris, Summer, everyone here and myself, congratulations and remember... Keep it handies. Cheers. Thank you, Lama, for the beautiful speech. I remember Martina doing the crumb stuff. Uh, some of the leg stomps and the arm swings could probably work on Klein when he takes too long at the golf course. Uh, so, without further ado, could I please ask Mahara to come up to see the stage for her song performance, please? Give her a round of applause, guys, as she comes up to the I was told I should just uh, introduce myself. Um, I'm Mahara, and my mother is uh, Mel's um, auntie. And um, I live in Denmark, so I'll sing a, a European love song, a French love song for you. Hope you enjoy.
Merci, merci. Bonjour. Comment tu perds tu Je m'appelle Sam. Thank you for that uh, beautiful uh, performance. So next, up to the stage, we have one of the groomsmen, Kaiden. Kaiden, quite a popular man, I see. But uh, yeah, it's time for your speech. Right after the speech, I'm gonna let the DJ play a, a few songs or one song, so then our uh, ladies, uh, our crowd here, can get up and have a little boogie. Okay? So Kaiden, take it away, mate. Hello, fam. Uh, yeah. Uh, so if you don't know, I'm Kaiden. Uh, yeah. Me and uh, Kaiden, uh, we actually have a real interesting relationship. Uh, some of the aunties call us dumb and dumber, uh, but most common, best described as uh, it's actually one of the gayest friendships ever. Uh, but uh, I just want to congratulate you two first of all. Um, I think Jerry covered actually most of the character traits of crime, so I think I'll just stick with some embarrassing stories, I guess. Um, so there was, uh, we were traveling with Jay Sams back to put it all from Hamilton, and uh, Mans was tired from driving, so uh, we decided to stop in at Bullies Point, for those that uh, in New Zealand will know where that is. Uh, so we stopped off there for a swim, and uh, there's a huge like cliff that we jump off, and me and Clyde just like, we're like, man, let's get some cool videos, eh, jumping off. And, uh, yeah, so we were jumping off, throwing just a board to each other while we were jumping. Look back at it now, absolutely dumb as. But, uh, nah, but as we were swimming, we had an, actually a time limit that um, Jay Sands gave us, which was like 30 minutes. But we heard, like, this chatter going on in the bush. All these girls our age were coming in, and me and Clyde, we, were, uh, we think we're ladies' men, uh, excited as uh, yeah, we were prepping hundies but we were just hyping each other up so but, nah, they came in and uh, as we were chatting away with, and, uh, with them we hear this humongous loud growl coming out of the bush this is a 6'5 Jewish man coming out <laughs> two sands yelling at us Kai! Kai then! Wow, scary as but uh, so we had to quickly rush off and you have to like climb up this rock to uh, get out of there and we had our clothes in our um, arm and Klein, he, uh, he dropped his holy undies in front of the girl, like down to the girls so he had to climb back down and get it and man just like, oh so sorry <laughs> but actually no, he actually first of all asked if one of them could pass it up to him and he didn't have to climb back down Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> so, that's just, yeah, one of the many, yeah, just sickening stories with them. It's embarrassing as, but nah, but nah. Um, me and Klein just, yeah, do some absolute dumb stuff when we're together. So it's always, always a laugh and a half. Um, but yeah, our, our friendship actually started, it was, it was real, a real weird start. Because uh, we had only met each other for like, couple of hours when we were like 10 years old and then like four months let go by after we first meet and it's like 7 a.m. In, in the morning and this this dude's knocking on our door and I'm like, I open the door who the heck's this guy and that but yeah it's just yeah buzzy as so he was able to remember and then that's just when the gayness all started with us. <laughs> but, uh, I just wanna yeah just wanna again just congratulate you guys um, yeah, gonna miss my sleeping buddy tonight. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, nah. this year, have a raise a glass. <coughs> to Clive Martina. Love you guys. Thank you, Clyden, for that beautiful speech. I was waiting for that Jerome Luai moment, mate. I want a best scene, I want a best scene. So as mentioned before, please DJ, if you could play us one song so that our guests can come and have a little dance before we carry on with the rest of our speeches. Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 uh, Miami. Uh, uh, South Beach, bring it here, uh. Can y'all feel that? Can y'all feel that? Where I come, let go. In Miami, the day, send the sunset low. Every day, like a body crawl. 
Thank you, DJ. Thank you to our guests for using up the music. That's what we want. It's for you guys to feel the vibes. All right, guys. So we are back to our speeches. So without further ado, could I please call up the bride's parents? Take a line of your Kimu Martin. I'm going to go see your father for my money.
raising an amazing son. I have three daughters. I've got Chris. Chris! Chris, where are you? He's at the back there. So I love my, my son-in-law's dearly. I call them my sons. But tonight, thank you so much for coming and celebrating this ama amazing night. If you know, you know. For those that are close to me, massive thank you to the people. Dane. Dane Fabulicious. His eyes and ears behind this. Johan Kyle, lights and everything. When my daughter said, I want princess lights. And I'm like, yes, of course, Martina, you are that princess. Okay, we'll put the lights up there. Johan came in full clutch. So thank you all so much, Samoa. I'll pass it over to my husband because he's looking at me like, hurry up. <laughs> okay, have a good night, everyone. Goodbye. Okay. Rikus, as you can see the Martin, and you see Martina's name, Martina. <laughs> you know, when she was born, um, I said to my wife, man, I want a boy. <laughs> you know, I said, well, what are we going to call, you know, well, we're at the A at the end, and Martina, Martina came up. But the funny thing is, is um, social media. Facebook, Messenger, I get messages from people, random people say, I don't know these people, they think they're mistaking me as Martina, and she gets mistaken as me as Martin. <laughs> but it won't happen anymore because she's not, she's Martina Simmons now. So hopefully that will stop. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I want to thank everyone here that has travelled from far beyond, eh? He's come from overseas and, you know, and also um, want to welcome Jason and Melanie to the family. Thank you for bringing Clive to Martina's um, life. And also to Martina and Clive, you know, with marriage, you have your up and down zone. Eh? But you've got to come together with, with one arm. Make sure you agree to things, eh? Because uh, marriage is, 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 is um, it, it, yeah, it, it's hard, but if you work together, it will work as a team. And Clive, I want to welcome you to the family now. Thank you. And, um, yeah, want to do a toast? So if you, um, if everyone could stand, please. I want everyone standing. So my toast is to Martina and Clyde. May the future be bright and shiny in happiness and have God in your life. Because God will show you a man upstairs will show you the life. Hey? If you're down, get on your knees and pray. Because he has, he's done it to me, he's done it to my wife. It's hard work. Yep. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Next we have Jenea. Jenea, this is your opportunity for the song. Thank you. 
Give her another round of applause, everyone knows. Beautiful song. All right. Next we have the groom's father, Jason Salmon. So we have Jason Salmon's speech. And then after that, we have a song performance by Soala, Lia, and Anita Tunga. So, Jason, if I could ask you to come up to the stage. You guys are enjoying the uh, Klein and Martina variety show. <laughs> Didn't realise how many talented cousins and um, aunties and uncles that Klein had. It was awesome. Um, so Klein is, um, we have five kids. Klein is number four. So we have um, three girls, two boys, and we've got four down and one to go. There's my youngest. Any single young ladies here? <laughs> So I'd like to, um, I'd like to thank um, Martina's mum and dad for their uh, kind words um, and also to express our gratitude to them, uh, Martin and Bailey, uh, in raising such a beautiful young lady as Martina and preparing her uh, for this day and preparing her for when she met Klein, um, uh, about a, ooh, a couple of years ago, it must be now, I was walking down the hallway and Klein was lying in bed and he called me in his room. I said, what? He goes, Dad, I think I've got a guinea. <laughs> I said, oh, really? Oh, okay. So have a look. So she showed me a picture and they had a picture of Martina uh, in her netball um, uniform. I go, oh, she looks tall. She just looks really pretty. And, oh, she's a parlane. <laughs> but, um, obviously, I didn't know her ethnicity at the time, and Klein explained that to me, that she was half Samoan, part Tongan, and, and Dutch. So, anyway, um, when we first met um, Martina, uh, at the time, she was only 18 years old, and we were so shocked that she was so young, but so mature. And me and my wife were like thinking, well, okay, because she was talking to us like, a, like she was very mature for her age. And um, we were thinking, well, this is the first time we've met, so obviously you're going to put on a you know, good show. And, <laughs> and she was such a lovely young lady, and we were thinking, okay. But she's been living with us for over a year now, and she's exactly the same. She's just a beautiful young girl that's, um, she's this her personality, bubbly personality, always loves a good laugh. And I always told my wife that um, the, the girl that marries Klein has got to be somebody very special to put up with some of his antics <laughs> and some of the things that he does. Clyde and Klein just gave you a little snippet of some of the, yeah, he's a, he's a, bit, of a bit of a crazy sort of dude, Klein. And uh, he's been my right hand guy um, most of, well, all his life. Um, the other, uh, last week I was, um, I had to have some medical procedure done to me at a hospital and then I had to have one week where I couldn't do any lifting and some of my job is a lot, of, a lot of lifting so on the Monday after the weekend I came out I said to the client, can you come to work with me and do all my lifting for me and he had no problem, yep I'll be there so I took him with me and he spent the day with me doing all my, um, all my uh, hard work lifting and all that so this is the sort of guy he is. He, He'll take the shirt off uh, his back and give it to you. He's loyal. He'll do anything for his friends, his cousins, his aunties, his uncle. Um, he's uh, raised in the pa and he's true blue, uh, nothing for, and he's proud of that. So anyway, um, so Martina um, and Klein, to me, they're almost like a power couple together. Uh, Martina. Um, we're going to be endeavouring to um, follow you in netball, although we're a big basketball family, and we've sort of never really paid much attention to netball, but we are now. We went and watched a couple of her games in the club season, and the um, thing about netball is when Martina plays, you can only watch her play half the game, because she shoots the goal at one end, and then the, comes to halfway, then there's another part of the game going on down there. With a basketball, you're watching it up and down. 
So it's going to take us a while to get used to that. <laughs> but um, she's an awesome athlete. A lot of you guys know that. Uh, and we've been just really, really blessed to have her in our home and uh, watching the journey that she's uh, taken over the last year. Um, and her and Clyde together now uh, married, and tomorrow will be um, sealed in the temple, which is going to be another another level in their um, their marriage commitments to one another. Um, my wife didn't come up with me because she's a bit shy, uh, but she just wanted me to express mainly uh, our appreciation to Fadele and to Martin for raising such a beautiful and awesome human being and preparing her for our son, because it's such a blessing to have her in our lives. Uh, we, were at a conf uh, we were at a state conference uh, a few months ago, and Martina spoke at state conference. And after she had finished speaking, uh, after the conference had finished, uh, one of my bishop, uh, past bishops, state presidents, came up to me and he said, he said, God really must love your son to, 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 bless, to bless him with such a beautiful young, um, young lady is that sister that just finished speaking. So that was such a massive compliment. Um, and yeah, we feel blessed to have her as our part of our family and to be part of Arika's family too. So I'd like to just give you that, let you guys know that um, uh, we're excited and we can't wait to see what the future holds and see these two have uh, seven foot kids. Um, it's gonna be exciting. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jason. Uh, as mentioned before, the next item on our agenda is a song performance by Suala, Leah, Nita, and Bo Sam for our song performance. Thank you. Just before the song performance, I just wanted to uh, give out a special acknowledgement. As you can see here at the head table, this is our late brother, Unasa Lolet Uma. Uh, he is one of the uncles, the brothers here, who has passed on, and he was a big part of Martina's life as well. So I just wanted to make a special acknowledgement. Also, to our Matitoa and Tufare Toa Fano, special acknowledgement for you guys as well. Okay, I think the singers are ready, just at the back there. So we just, 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 just take it away. Just, just, just. How's everyone's night going? Good. That was a big one. Don't scare me too much. Don't scare me. But we're just here to form a little song for the newlyweds. And that's our beautiful cousin, Martina, right there. These are my lovely sisters. And uh, Klein, we've got some more parts to go on there. <laughs> but yeah, let's get the song. Please. Gonna take a look at this.
to the conclusion of our speeches and the last speech goes to our groom Mr. Klein Salmon. Please give him a round of applause everyone. Thank you. 
Clyde and Jaden. But yeah, cheers. Thank you. Thank you for that speech, Clyde. Also, thank you to the Fano for the haka. There was a lot of mana in that haka, so thank you for that. Apologies, uh, we've got one more speech. These are one of the important ones. Uh, without further ado, I will hand it over to Grandpa.
Just to clear the air a little bit about uh, my uncle's speech, he was talking about uh, his late wife, Miss Uma, uh, who unfortunately isn't with us, who was also a big part of Martina's life. And we was also just talking about Martina and her everyday life as she was working. A lot of Samoan ladies were sort of backstabbing or saying not very nice things, and they were quite surprised uh, when she said a few of the Samoan words to her. So if you don't understand, that's what the old man's speech was about tonight. Okay? Alright, now we are moving on to the cutting of the cake. Our newlyweds. So 
uh, I'll ask you guys to walk over to the cake and we'll get that done as well. After the cutting of the cake, we've got our first dance for our new weights or our first steps as well.
All right. How's everyone doing? Good? That's great. That's good. That's good. So what's going to happen next is our groomsmen dance is going to be next. But they need a bit of time to get ready. So what I'll do is I'll give you guys a bit of time. But during that time, I've also been instructed by our beautiful bride to call up a few people who I've been seeing that want to dance tonight. So, could please, could these people please make it up to stage? Chris Ahern. Chris Ahern, you asked me to practice with you today, so now's your chance, my own soul. Could I ask Justin Fai? Please, these gentlemen, make it up right here. Could I also ask Claveria, please, to come up to see the stage? I'm not too sure how this person made it up to see the stage, but please, Yaneta Mori, if you could please come up to stage as well. Come up here, Justin. Chris Ahern, not too sure where you're hiding, but the program will not start until you get back, mate. So, Kaveria, Nyeka, and last but not least, Safune Sam Tuma. Safune Sam Tuma, please, your ma please make your way up to the center stage from Manmul. Please do not beat me up after this event. <laughs> it was our bright idea for you guys to do this. All right, guys, so how this is going to work is we are going to get a 10 second stint to come up here, do your thing, and then we're going to let the crowd be the judge of that. The only catch here is you guys will be dancing to a nice Moby song. So DJ, please, if you could play us a nice Moby song, just so that we could acknowledge our brothers and sisters from Klein's family. Okay, DJ, when you're ready, Chris, also, you're up first, man. Wait for the beat to drop, and then you're on. Okay. We have the Uso from Brisbane. Again, Justin Fai. Everyone give him a round of applause. See the 
those moves from 1950 something. They still bang today, eh? All right, like I said, I was going to let the crowd be the judge of the dancers tonight. Please come forward. It's not finished yet. Everyone give it up for Chris Ahern. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Everyone give it up for my also Justin. Please give it up for Claveria. All the way from South Auckland, please give it up for Yaneta. And last but not least, the Uso, Safune Samzuma. All right, everyone. This is a very nervous time for me to get to these guys. Thank you. All the way from South Auckland, please give it up. That's how he takes it out tonight. I will give you back your prize back in New Zealand when we get in the plane. All right, DJ, if you could play a song uh, for our guest to have a little boogie while we wait for our grooms and then dance. Thank you. Oh, I apologize. Okay. They are. They are ready. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I'm just going to get uh, Brian to have a seat at the front here so then our uh, source can come and do their thing. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, give the brothers a round of applause for their first item. Thank you. Let's go.
one of the consistent sponsored by corn beef. It looks like you had you guys had a bit too much corn beef, guys. Hit the gym after this, alright? Alright. Okay, next performance. It's our bridesmaid Siva. So our bridesmaids, this is your opportunity for your guys' item. Please make your way up to centre stage. Thank you.
Tina Siwa Samoa. Ladies and gentlemen, today I stand before you to shed light on a cultural treasure that holds immense significance in the heart of Samoa. Siwa Samoa. Siwa Samoa, often referred to as a Samoan dance, is not merely a form of artistic expression, but a vibrant reflection of Samoan identity, history, and its values. In the rhythmic movements of Siwa Samoa, one can witness a profound connection to nature, ancestors, and community. The graceful swaying of hips, intricate hand gestures, and synchronized footwork tell stories of the Samoan way of life, resilience, and the reason why we are here today, love. Siva Samoa is more than just a dance. It is a celebration of life's milestones, from births to weddings, and a means of honoring those who have left us from the past. Passed down through generations, it serves as a bridge between the rich, between the rich tapestry of Samoan tradition and the modern world. Through Siva Samoa, Samoan culture continues to thrive, captivating audiences with its beauty and vitality. So let us celebrate Siva Samoa, a dance that not only captivates the eyes, but also it touches the soul, enriching our lives with its beauty and depth. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our beautiful bride, our elegant bride, Martina Sammy.
All right, DJ, that was a beautiful moment by the bride. Thank you so much for that. DJ, you can play a few songs uh, while we get ready for our formalities and then we'll end our recipe for tonight. So DJ, please play a song for our guests. Guests, come up and dance. I know a lot of you guys got itchy feet. I've seen it tonight. So please enjoy the music while we get our formalities, uh, get, uh, get that ready for you guys tonight. Thank you. So sad inside 
60 photo booth on the right side at the front, so go and get some videos there. Thanks.